just too hot. It's just too hot. It's too hot. Hey everyone, it's Amy and welcome or oh, maybe welcome back to my channel. And can you believe it? Today is the finale of the spring portion of my 2020 project pan. Finale makes it sound like it's got a little bit more razzle dazzle, like it's a little bit more exciting than us just talking about what is essentially a bunch of trash. But hey, we made it to the end of this segment of my 2020 project pan and uh, we have some successes. We also have some failures. Let's talk about them today. If you guys enjoy project pan videos, empties videos, all things no by you related, then go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to make my day. I burned my tongue earlier so I could do with something positive. Please send those thumbs up my way. Where to begin? Let's start with something that I've been consistently chipping away at. This is my Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. It's completely destroyed. You guys can see that the pan is still growing. I mean, it's obviously not done by any stretch of the imagination, but the pan is definitely growing. You can see month on month that I am making consistent progress, even though I'm still really not wearing makeup most days. Unless I'm sitting down to film a video, I'm not putting makeup on, I'm not brushing my hair, I'm usually not changing out of my sweatpants. Sweatpants is all that fits me right now. That was a tangent that nobody needed, but I'm pretty impressed with the progress I've been making with this, given that I'm really not wearing makeup every day. I think the reason I've done so well with this this month is because I actually have a tan. Look at me, tanned. But my foundation is still quite ghoulishly pale, so I've been having to really layer on the bronzer to get a matching body face situation. I think it's working. I don't know. It doesn't really matter because I never go anywhere anyway. But I think I'm gonna take this forward into the summer portion of my project pan. And while I've brought that up actually, I just wanted to let you know, I'm not going to be switching in the summer project pan items in this video, just because I'm moving home in a matter of days. I'm gonna be back in the UK and I kinda wanna like sift through the products that I have there and give myself more options. So the introduction to the summer project pan is gonna be a separate video, it will be coming soon. Spoiler alert, this will probably be in it. Next, let's talk about those lipsticks, shall we? I'm gonna show you the little page where I keep the markings to show how much I've used each month. And you can see there has actually been some progress, particularly with this Clinique uh, Pink Spice Moisture. What is this? Long Last Lipstick in Pink Spice, this one. This has been the one that has had the most use this month. We've also got some small progress with the Revlon Balm Stain, and then with this Rimmel Lipstick, and things have grown to a halt with that one, pretty much. I don't know why I've had so much more progress with these this month compared to last month. Last month it was like a complete standstill. Maybe they've started to melt. It's June in the Middle East, it is hot, so maybe they are just melting, maybe they're just disintegrating, I don't know. Next, let's talk about, let's talk about this Victoria's Secret uh, fragrance mist. It's not done, it's so close to done but not done. You can see this is where we were at the end of May, this is where we were at the end of April, and the line for the beginning of April, like when I first started tackling this, has worn off, but I think it was around here. So I've almost used probably about three quarters of the bottle throughout this three months, which is pretty good. But there have been some success stories this month. Ta -da! This is the Bath & Body Works A Thousand Wishes Body Lotion, and it's empty. It's finally empty. This is where we were at the end of last month, and it really only took me maybe a week and a half to get through this and use the rest of it up. So that went by really quickly. I'm obviously not gonna be repurchasing this because I have 5,000 other moisturizers. And also this isn't cruelty free, so I wouldn't reach for it anyway. But I did enjoy the scent. It was nice while it lasted. We have even more success. I know, it's been a really good month for me. 
Uh, this is the Revolution 0.2% Retinol Fine Line Correcting Serum. This felt like it was never ever gonna end for the longest time. Like originally I was making huge progress with it and then it slowed down to pretty much nothing. It felt like it was never going to be done. But it is done. This was actually my first time using a retinol serum or a retinol of any kind. And when I bought it, I actually had no idea what retinol even was. I just liked the look of the container, if we're being completely honest. But then I did some research into retinol and actually it has a lot of benefits for your skin. I don't necessarily feel like I would repurchase this specific one, even though it was really nice and I really enjoyed it. I just feel like I would like to repurchase a new retinol, but something maybe a little bit stronger. I'm ready to up the ante with my uh, retinol and 0.2%. I feel like we could go a little bit higher, you know? Okay, the next thing is another success, you guys. This is the Body Shop Matte Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation in Dune, which is still too dark for me. The point is, I used this up probably within days of the last Project Pan update. I really only had a few drops of it left. Most of it, unfortunately, ended up splattered all over my dressing table because with these squeezy bottles, it's just inevitable for me that when it gets towards the end and there's mostly air in there, you're gonna squeeze it and it's just gonna go pfft. I hate that. That's why it's so much more convenient to have a pump. Would I repurchase this foundation? Um, no. It's so matte and I'm an oily individual. The fact that this was too mattifying for me is like, who does this work for? This really accentuated the fine lines under my eyes, sunk into my skin and just dried it out. It pulled out all the moisture and made me look a little bit haggard. Not the look I was going for. And last but not least, my old nemesis. This is the Rimmel Kate Sculpting. I can never remember what this is called. What are you? It's a face palette. What, what are you called? You guys know, I've been talking about it since we started this whole project pan in February. This is like one of the OG project pan Product. Also, did I just use the term OG correctly? Sometimes I try and sound cool, but then I'm like, I don't know if I'm using that word right. Anyway, steady but frustratingly slow progress on this as per usual. I mean, obviously I've been using this less than I usually would because I'm not going to work, I'm not going out, I'm not trying to look like a human. So I haven't been applying this every day. We're gonna be working on this for a while. So overall, out of the 10 products that I had in the spring portion of my project pan, I panned four. I'm starting to not feel so good about my successes now, because when you say it like that, it's not very much, it says 40%. That was a math test, I'd probably get like, what, a D? Mm. But at the end of the day, I clearly was never going to pan any powder products in the space of three months. Um, I made good progress with this mist, even if it isn't finished. And the lipsticks are just going to be the bane of my life um, until I die. So, like I said, I'm not going to be swapping in the items for the summer project pan today. I really want to because I want to crack on with them and just like hit the ground running. But I want to give myself options. So when we get back to the UK, I'm going to have a look, see what I have there, and then I'll, I'll let you know. I hope you guys have enjoyed my spring project pan and sharing in the finale with me. If you guys did enjoy this, then please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already because we have a really good time here. Don't forget you can join our No Buy You Facebook group for tips, tricks, advice, and a really awesome community all surrounding No Buy, Low Buy, and uh, just buying less stuff. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive, and I will see you all soon. Bye!